All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So I'm going to first start by factoring out 4 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So I get 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 16. And this is equal to 4 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 16. Now, from here... I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So these two cancel out, and I get 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. Now, if you plug in values of x, you may notice that x isn't going to be a whole number, because 4 to the power of 1, this is equal to 4, and 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16. So we know that x is going to be somewhere in between 1 and 2. Now, how are we going to find the exact value of x? Well, we can do this in two ways. The easier method is to rewrite 4 as 2 squared and to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So we basically rewrote these two numbers so that now that the, they're the same base. So now I can use the property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n on 2 squared to the power of x. So that turns into 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 3, meaning that 2x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 3 over 2. You can also, from here, 4x is equal to 8. You can take the log on both sides. You can use logarithms. So I get log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 8 meaning x times log 4 is equal to log 3, or sorry, log 8, and x is equal to log 8 over log 4. And now from here, log 8 is the same thing as log 2 to the power of 3. Log 4 is the same thing as log 2 squared. And now an important property of logarithms is that log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a meaning I can move my exponent to the front. So I get x is equal to 3 times log 2 over 2 times log 2. So the log 2's cancel out, and I get x is equal to 3 over 2. So those are two different methods of solving this equation.